Xylia adjusted her heat shield, the searing wind whipping past her six transparent eyes. In the distance, the twin suns of Infernus blazed, casting the desolate landscape in an angry orange glow. Here, on this world perpetually locked in a scorching nightmare, even the hardiest Xylosian explorers needed protection. They were on a salvage mission. Decades ago, a Xylosian freighter, the Cobalt Phoenix, had vanished near Infernus. Now, a faint distress beacon had flickered back to life, a beacon of hope in a furnace. Xylia crested a dune of obsidian sand, her four insectoid legs crunching. Below, the wreckage of the cobalt phoenix lay half-buried, its once-proud hull warped and cracked. A wave of sorrow washed over Xylia. The crew, her kin, were surely long gone. But then, a flicker of movement in the shadows of the freighter caught her eye. A lone figure, swathed in a tattered heat shroud, emerged. It was Xylo, the Cobalt Phoenix's captain, his once vibrant green carapace now dulled by years of unforgiving heat. Xylia, he rasped, his voice raw. We, we thought we were done for. Relief flooded Xylia. Xylo explained a solar flare had crippled the ship, forcing them to crash land. They'd survived on emergency rations and by harvesting moisture from the baked atmosphere. But their supplies were dwindling. Time was of the essence. Xylia and Xylo devised a plan. They'd use the salvageable parts from the Phoenix to jury rig a functional escape pod. It was a desperate gamble, but their only chance. Days bled into weeks under the relentless suns. They worked tirelessly, sweat evaporating before it could even form on their carapaces. Hunger gnawed at their bellies, but the will to survive burned brighter. Finally, the escape pod was cobbled together, a Frankensteinian machine of hope. With a silent prayer, Xylia and Xylo climbed in, their hearts pounding against the infernal heat. Sealing the hatch, they initiated the launch sequence. The pod lurched skyward, a tin can defying the fiery embrace of Infernus. The roar of the makeshift engine was music to their ears. As they pierced the atmosphere, they watched Infernus shrink below, a molten ball receding into the vast emptiness of space. Exhausted but exhilarated, Xylia and Xylo drifted back to Xylosian space, forever bonded by their ordeal on the burning world. Infernus, a testament to the universe's unforgiving nature, was a world they'd never forget, a stark reminder of the resilience of life, even in the face of unimaginable heat.